Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I am going to do a flip through of this journal I made. I did another video and I might have attached this video I'm getting ready to make to the first video. So this could be one long video. If so, would it be in the title? If not, it's going to be two separate videos. I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked at the first video to see if the two can be combined. Anyway, so I did end that video by saying I was going to put tags and journaling cards in this journal and then I would do a flip through. So we're doing the flip through. I At that time, I did not have the uh, closure for the journal and I chose this embroidery, uh, embroidery crocheted ribbon I had in my stash. It's pink and cream. I have no clue where I got it uh, from did it come off of a pillowcase? I have no idea. Anyway, it was just in my stash, so I thought, well, this would be perfect. So anyway, it's got this uh, hand crocheted uh, ribbon that closes it, and I have two um, charms on the signature strings. It is a one signature journal. The um, cover is made from a pillow sham, so it's quilted. I think you probably can see that. It's a quilted cover, and I put um, a doily on the front. And then added these flowers and this um, butterfly as decoration. And then I also added lace, which has been stitched on. So anyway, that is the cover. And it measures 6 by 9, and it has 64 pages. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, pull it down. I think I, that about um, covers it, except on the inside of the cover. This is a soft cover journal. It's not stiff or anything, so the pages kind of help give it its, its body. Um, and the reason I didn't want to add a, like um, anything to make it stiffer is because I wanted to use these pockets that are here from it being a pillow sham because you would normally, you know, put a pillow in it. And this is the opening. So the opening made two great pockets. So anyway, inside the front cover is a pocket and we have um, this little... Um, I don't know what you would call it. It's got a bunch of different papers in it, um, just like a little um, collage collection so you can use it to collage in this journal or whatever journal you might want so you can just take anything out so like I've got a little uh, lace medallion in there and here's a piece of fabric and then some just scrap papers um, some some of them are digital that's a jelly print there's some music and just different things so that's in here and also I have this old card it's a it's a shower it says and uh, you can tell it's probably from the 60s or 70s. And I didn't cover anything up. I'm just leaving it for whoever gets it to um, um, do what they want to with it. So you can write in it. You can cover up the writing that's on it or whatever. Okay, so the pages. This is um, some coffee dyed paper that I added fabric to the edge. You'll see it the front and back um, cover. So it's the same paper. And so it's great writing space. And then this is a card, a greeting card that you can run through your printer. And it's nice and firm. So I put a fabric flip on the back side of it. So it doesn't cover up, it covers up that writing space, but it doesn't um, take the place of the writing space. Just making sure I'm in frame because it slips around a lot. Okay. Um, so I've got different layers of fabric and they're just for looks and it's for fun thing. And then you can write under it. Okay. Here's a little piece of stationery. This is coffee dyed paper that I had this. Um, cluster that had a tab on it so I added that this is stationary paper that would run through your printer this is a piece of coffee dyed paper that I've um, folded into thirds you'll see the other third in a minute and then just put some uh, claws around it so you can write inside um, this page was from a book and I've made a pocket on this side a side tuck pocket uh, out of wallpaper border and inside of it I put a journaling card that I'm not sure where I've got this, but it's a framed picture of a, it looks like a peony, so a gorgeous flower. So it goes in here, and this is a piece of scrapbook paper that makes great writing, something to write on. So we're calling it a journaling card. So on this side, on the other side of that book page, I have this pocket that's made out of like a glassine, plasticky, it's, it's metallic. Uh, I don't know if you can see the shimmer or not, gold shimmery. Um, plasticky stuff that it's a long pocket and you fold a long envelope you fold it up and that makes this pocket and then here's the actual inside of the pocket so really you have three different places to put things so I put this which is two playing cards that I made into a little booklet it's got fabric stitched around it and then writing space in the center so that's there a big long tag made out of writing paper book page there's some fabric on it and, and some digital prints and then this is a tag made out of actually a box and I added a lace medallion and a um, what do you call that sticker there 
And then this was from um, just a stash of stuff I had. It was part of a banner, so I put it in here. You can either create with it or write on it. So anyway, you got three pockets there. This is from some vintage um, book that had like an address book. So you can put people's telephone numbers and address in it. And of course it had flowers on it, so I included it. This is more stationary that would go through your printer. This was a page that I decided I didn't like anything on the page. It's from a book, except for the picture of the rose. So we covered it up with this um, notepad, page from a notepad, and then this label. And on this side, we made a pocket out of this. This is a book page from another book. And um, we made a pocket out of that. And then this is a, it was um, some sort of note card, 2009. And it, I don't know, it probably said thank you or thinking of you or whatever. And I just put one of these little clusters uh, on it, this lace and fabric, and then a button sewn on it. So made a little journaling card out of that. This paper is made out of tracing paper with a piece of sheer fabric sandwiched in between it. And it's been stitched to hold it all together. We have a doily here. Here's another book page that I didn't like what was on it. So, um, and maybe like in another part of the here, I did like it, but on this side, I didn't. So I made a um, pocket out of wallpaper border and put the closures on it. And then inside here is, um, and it can hold more, oops, sorry. Um, a, it's a, you see three plus three, flashcard is what it is. It's got fabric on this side, writing paper on this side, and it's been stitched around, so. And it will hold a couple more things if you want to add pictures or something in there. And just close that up. And on this side, I have an envelope that flips out. So you can see a little bit of what was on that book page. And inside here, I just have two um, index cards that I have done some stamping on. And also, this envelope can also hold a few more things if you wanted to. All right, this is a book page. And on this side, I have... Um, this paper clip made out of book page and it's got a picture of a tulip on it. And on this side, um, I wanted to keep the words because it talks about Columbine flowers. Um, but I also wanted to have more writing space. So I made a flip out of this um, picture that was probably from a greeting card or something. And on this side, I covered up whatever was on this side with some uh, writing paper. So it gives you some writing paper and it's a little flip out in it. And you still have the information about the flowers. This is an old greeting card, and you have writing space there. It's an old book page. And this is from a botanical book, this page is. And um, I covered up this, the parts where they were just talking, you know, it just was text with this little um, label that's made out of just some paper that I used some embroidery floss and just made a little rough uh, border around it. And on this, uh, this is a pocket made out of scrapbook paper three pockets actually we got the pocket behind which i put this tag in there it's just made out of scrapbook paper and then we have a pocket here which sometimes it wants to let me put my tag in there sometimes it doesn't so that goes in there and then this one goes here so you got three little tags or two little tags and one big one and then here's like the other side of what that page uh other side of that page and you kind of get an idea of what the text looked like this is more stationary that goes through your printer. And in the middle of this was a um, coloring page. So I just put it in the middle so if you could see the whole thing if you wanted to color it in. And then of course on the back side of the journal we have the same pages, just the other sides of the pages. So I did the same thing here, like a little label up here to cover some writing. I made a pocket out of a um, cupcake liner that I had flattened with my iron. And then I folded it and then put it, put it on some book page you can kind of see through there to make it a, a firmer pocket. And inside it is a tag that's made out of book page, some fabric, and a picture of a flower, and some writing paper. I forgot to close my door so my washing machine's going. The other side of that botanical paper. This is the book page. This was um, that greeting card that um, was I showed you that had the rose on it. And on this side, it had like, you know, a sentiment, what they write on there. So I covered it with this note paper, notebook paper, no, notepad paper that fit it perfectly. So we got two writing sides, more book page. On this one, um, I covered it, made this uh, pocket out of some fabric and just folded it back on itself to make a pocket. So we got shiny fabric here and then dull fabric here. And inside of it is a journaling card made out of an old greeting card, I believe. 
And this one is just um, a collaged one with um, a picture of a flower and information about it, and it's been stitched around. There's our doily, and we've seen that page again. This page is the big page. Um, it's got two different pockets on it. So now let me take all the journaling cards out and the tags out, and we'll see, you can see it differently. Okay, so I've got this. Here's a pocket here. I was covering up things, so I needed to cover up quite a bit of it. So I put um, this pocket here, which is actually like three or four pockets, and it's scrapbook paper that's folded up, so you have all this writing space. So you can write on all that, and then you can fold it back up, and it becomes pockets. Then also glued behind it is this um, picture from a book, and it makes a pocket here, and I've got um, these journaling cards. I made it uh, a while back. I have a, I found a whole stash of typewriter lessons, and it told you what to type, and it showed you how to make corrections and stuff, and I just added flowers to it. I thought, I like that green background, so I put that in here, this pocket, and then this tag is just one that's made from a master board, and it's got a quote, and then it's got some lace and a yo-yo, um, so it can go back here. This is, what is this? A, um, something I printed, and it was on some uh, old um, photo paper, so I just sewed over where it said photo paper, and it's got two different flowers on it and like a little cluster there. So I keep this pin, I mean, paper clipped here just to kind of hold it so the um, journaling cards won't fall out. And uh, this is part of a note card that had an embossed front and I just kind of ran some uh, distress ink over so you can kind of see the embossing better. And I'm putting it in this pocket that's right here, like a little slot pocket. So anyway, I filled up that whole page, it's full. <laughs> and there's the roses on the back, writing space. We've seen all these papers before. This page had some writing here, so I thought let's just put this um, index card that's been covered with some fabric. It makes a great pocket. And this is a freebie from Scrapbooking with Me by Eve. And I loved it because it had the bluebirds on it. So I put it in here. It's a big tag. And then this is a piece of wallpaper border. You can either use it as a journaling card the way it is. You could use it as a pocket if you wanted to glue it somewhere else in the book. Or... Um, use it somehow, some other way, like um, claws or something. So I included that. And here's the other side of that um, paper. I said we would see, I folded it in thirds, and here's the other third, and it's got claws around it, and you can write inside. And I had a little cluster left over from, I think it was from making that one pocket that was three pockets. Um, had the big tag. I'm not sure how far back that was. Right here. It was in with that, so it's just leftover scraps from that. So I added a tab to it and made it a tab in the book. And it also is a tuck. And I have tucked here um, something I'm not sure. It, I'm not sure what this is. It feels like it might be a sticker. So you can write on it, or you can maybe try to see if it's a sticker. It was just in my stash. I'm not sure where I got it. And then this is a digital I have, and it's where you can put samples of lace in there. And I printed the back. The back back's right. I'm not sure what I printed it on here. So there may be a way that's supposed to be. It was just in my stash. Already done. So anyway, it's got like a little lace flip. And you can write on the back and you can write underneath the lace. So that's in here. And then what else we got? Uh, we got coffee dyed paper. Back of that little stationery. We made a belly band out of some uh, ribbon that's kind of like some stiff satin ribbon with lace on it. And I put this, pinned this little cluster I had on there. This is a gargantuan journaling card. It's got writing space on the back. It was just, it was made from um, glue papers, I think, that I had used from an old, old um, five ring binder, those Better Homes and Gardens ones. And so it looks like the page is folded in half and I stitched around it, added a lace cluster. It's got lace and fabric. And then a Better Homes and Gardens, like the front of one of their magazines, and then just some other collage stuff around it. So it makes a gigantic journaling card, and it goes perfect there. And this is just a label for decoration. And then we're back here, and in the back pocket, I have a couple of things, like a little envelope with a card in it, and um, an embossed French fry bag. Let's see, get it back in there. And then just some other little things uh, that you can use. Whoever gets the journal can have some fun with those things. So anyway, this is this um, journal. I'm calling it the Quilted Fabric Soft Cover with Doily and 
silk flowers and crochet closure <laughs> something like that it's going to be on my etsy shop if you're interested the link will be in the description box below and i really thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye